Welcome back to the ninth episode of a Sim Golf playthrough here on Impossible Difficulty. And, uh, well, I think uh, we're pretty much just waiting for I Am Picky to show up again so that we can expand more in this direction. And, um, uh, when doing that, well, yeah, we can start kind of like making some holes zigzag a bit back and forth here, connect up this area. And just get something uh, done, basically. Oh, look at that. Another member. Very nice. Uh, either way, like, we need some money when uh, Iron Picky shows up. So we're gonna take a practice round against a pro here, or a uh, exhibition round against uh, Steady Eddie. And look at that. We have some beautiful graphical glitches right there. Lord knows, there's plenty of these in this game. This little edge thing as well is like, you, you know, like, this very edge thing. You can't go up from zero. Ever. On, like, the northern edge side. Doesn't matter what side you try from. You just, you can't. That, that's just a bit weird. Oh, look at that, another silver member. Well, the club's getting popular, and the uh, skill rating's going up pretty fast. Alright, fade shot, left to right. We don't have that one yet. Maybe we need to work on it. This guy's pretty, yeah, steady eddy, plus 30 on everything. Uh, well, pretty okay, though. So let's see, like, the thing is, usually here I've been going like this. Right, and it's guaranteed three strokes. Like, I usually end up bouncing on the hill. Maybe I need to aim more here. But, let's try the left right. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it will work, actually. If we hit well. So we have 80% accurate ions, I think it was. So, maybe just based on that, maybe we can get the left to right skill if we have a good stroke. Oh, oh, it got stopped by the pot bunk a little bit. And we're on a green. That's actually the best first stroke I've had in this hole so far. So seemingly, even though we don't have any skill in that, left to right is apparently the way to go. Alright, well, we're in a better position than Steady Eddie, at least. If we're lucky, we could get a, uh, or rather, Randy Rager could get a birdie on this one. We need to host a tournament though, so we can push this hole from par 6 to par 5. Uh, which is where I want it to be. A lot of people actually using this lady just on hole 1 her for whatever reason. Okay, he's on 2. Can we get a body? Woo! Alright, won the first hole. So that's 6,000 simoleons in my pocket. Very nice. And we got a lead overall. Go long, go straight. Let's hope it works. Ooh. Oh, we, did we get through? Ah, loses ten percent of power header skill. What's that got to do with power heading? That's like a curiosity. But yeah, we're behind the tree now. We're gonna cheat a little bit. I really want the money. So yeah, we're here and it's not ideal, but... But, we should be able to, uh... Now that the trees are gone, get the ball over there. In fact, just to be safe, because some of these hitboxes on the trees are not exactly, uh... What I would call consistent. So, let's just do this. And we can just put the trees back in afterwards. I think it was these trees. See, just like there, and the white one's down there. There we are. Little bit cheaty, but oh well. Don't think we're gonna get a birdie on this hole. But we'll see. Well, I'm pretty sure we won't, but neither will the guy we're playing. But, oh, we hit that? 
How is my putting skill not increasing? No, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna plop down. Um, just ah, okay. I can't pause. So next hole. This one could be a bit tricky. I don't want to go too far. I'm gonna aim there because if you go too far on that hole, suddenly you go out of bounds, and that's. Well, I guess that's a tricky part of the hole. Uh, just get a Civil War cannon in here, actually, just so we can uh, get some skill upgrades. I am picky hasn't showed up yet, so. But wait a minute, last time I said he was... Oh. <laughs> just as I was about to say, maybe there's some issue with this, because... Whatever, he's here. He's here. We gotta make sure he's happy as well. He's playing with Tyrone. Tyrone is in a decent mood. Is he thirsty? No. So we can't improve his mood. Is I am picky thirsty? No. Okay, then. well, where the hell did my ball go? This one? I think it's this one. Steady Eddie's got some weird bounces going on. I mean, he played that extremely differently. He bounced it off a rock over here, but we ended up in pretty much the same spot, so. Kind of weird. And I'm going to keep an eye on Mr. Picky. Need to make sure he's happy, but I, I don't see why he shouldn't be, necessarily. And once we get the sixth hole, I wonder if that's where impossible difficulty, just like you hit the threshold and it just really gets impossible. Just going to go straight. We're in the center of the fairway here, so just keep going straight and... Uh, Hopefully we're not out of bounds or in the water. Are you shitting me? How are you out of bounds on that one? You... God damn, Randy. Come on. Uh, oh, oh no, and I stroke... I, I, I took the stroke when there's uh, weed served. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove the scenic tree and we're going to plop in... A rock face, because there's been a lot of dandelions in this specific area. And if we put in this thing, then uh, there won't be. Just want to have a right angle to see that I'm actually hitting or aiming here. Huh? Right. Uh, gonna be a double bogey, maybe? Oh, hit it! Luck skill improved to 40%. Well, if we get skill improvement, then uh, I'm all for that, so. Not too bad, we lost the hole, but we still had a lead overall. Worked by, or down by one stroke, I should say, compared to our opponent there. So we're still 6,000 plus on the, uh, on the whole thing. I am Picky's in a decent mood, getting over to the second hole. And... Uh, I'm gonna play it safe. Ish. That's kind of safe. That's an old mama, that's nice. That means we hit pretty well. Yeah. Could be better, could be worse. Could certainly be worse. Skill rating going up, up and up. How's this hole looking right now? Oh, this is looking better and better. This is actually starting to look decent, so I think we've uh, been able to rectify it to some degree. It's never going to be like a super amazing hole. Neither of a par 3 holes there are, but, uh, yeah, they just don't have the recipe for extreme success. But they're just, we're just here to fill in a hole to play so that we can have some skill rating and progress. So, I mean, a par 4 and a par 6 are all top 100, and a par 3s are acceptable. Not super good, but not super bad either. Where did Eddie land? I didn't see, I didn't pay attention. Ooh! Accurate putter to 60%. This is a good round, we're getting some skill improvements there. God damn bird, I wish I had this performance. Except for on the third hole. In like tournaments. Now we beat Steady Eddie on this one as well. Good stuff, getting some money here for the expansion. And time for the par 6, which is going to be a par 4 once we can run a tournament, I believe. I'll just aim... Where was there? That looks decent. 
And I've raced the terrain towards the edge here, so we're not so likely to roll off into the out of bounds area. Which is just going to make people unhappy and whatnot. So, like, if we hit around here, we're going to run like all more towards the center, more towards the waste bunker here, which is fine. And that's kind of an edge. I'm just glad we didn't lose any skill on that. Uh, looked like it could be one of those things where you do lose some skills. Base terrain here a little bit, smooth out the whole experience. While we're here anyway. Right, smooth out and smooth out, but yeah, whatever. Something like this, maybe. I know this is graphical glitching, but it really doesn't look good, but what can I do? Right. It's it's sim golf does graphical glitching it's just uh it's just a part of the game might even uh you know it's, it's um, maybe you get some kind of like stockholm syndrome thing going with it the graphical glitches hold you hostage because you can't really properly get rid of them so maybe in the end you just you just accept them and fall in love you can maybe go right to left here i'm gonna try although could be risky, but yeah, let's give it a shot. Don't have that much to lose. Huh. Well, don't think that could have gone much worse. Oh no, it was left to right, and we don't have any skills in left to right. Right, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Fuck it. Let's just play it safe. Hit straight up. You know, set up for the next stroke. I need to plan more ahead when I'm playing here. I'm just like thinking the stroke that I'm looking at. How does he miss so bad? How are you so... Shit, Randy? I mean, it's not that bad. I've, in real life, I've had... Uh, balls go further off where I was trying to hit than that, for sure. Sometimes you just get a wild one, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is a game, though. <laughs> and we're, we're getting better and better. Yet it feels that there's some uh, difficulty modifier to make sure that we're not actually getting as good as we are. That being said, how's Picky doing? Oh, he's very happy. On hole 3 currently. I'm gonna have a look at him once uh, we're done with this hole here. I'm gonna go with high backspin shot, which is my favorite shot in the game, and see where that takes us. Ooh, pretty close to the hole though. Uh, like high backspin shot, that's an accurate shot. I like I like high backspin shots. I think we might lose the match overall. This guy got eagle. The hole is too easy. Yeah, I know it should be. Uh, 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 yeah, we lost at the end of the match as well. So whatever, we lost the hole, lost the match because we just went out of bounds too much, which is annoying. Uh, I hate the rotation in this game. It just never feels right. Okay, Thirst, yeah, we can deal with that soon. There's a sh snack bar, he can go and visit. Uh, that's the only thing that's bad, he's having fun, his attitude is good. How's he playing, actually? Par, par, and another par coming up, probably. What? So far, I clicked on. <laughs> Seriously, like, I already bought your game. You have your logo other places. Seriously, Firaxis? Seriously? You're blocking my view. I want to see what's up with this hole. Just saying. Which fool puts that sand trap there? Hey, watch it, Picky. I can throw you in the lake. I can pick you up and kick you into the lake if I want. Show sure you want to be mouth enough like that? Either way, things are going the right way. I'm not too concerned with these, it's just random. Like, the more you play a course, the higher up you get in that ranking. So, if you got some play time on the course, then you, you know, progress it basically. Well, see, I think Picky went in a bunker though. If. If not, then this is his, and that could still count as being in a bunker, actually. 
No, Picky went in the bunker. Did he? I don't know, maybe. But the thing is, if you think about when you're playing golf and you're thinking, oh, I must not hit that thing. I must not hit that. I got to stay clear of that. Focus, stay clear of that. Guess what's going to happen then? You're going to fucking hit the thing that you're focusing on not hitting because you're focusing on it too much. Just saying, you know, just focus on where the ball needs to get. Don't focus on where the ball doesn't need to go. Oh, well, 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 prestigious silver membership. Good choice, good choice, good so. Either way, it does look like we are getting some expansion this time around. Ooh, suddenly his smile. What? Just I say that, his smile goes away? Why? That's not good. My people are generally in a good mood. But I feel that like when we build the sixth hole, that's going to trigger something in the game that just makes it harder to keep people happy. And then at some point we're going to have to play the game like this. So that all these keeps player happy things that we have around will actually work. Because like, for instance, you got these uh, Buddha statues right there uh, that we have like here. And uh, they make golfers happy. But I think it's like if a golfer is near that thing to be made happy by it, but it's not on the screen, then it doesn't have any effect. So you need to actually be actively viewing it. As you can see, some people are like a mediocre mood around her. They're not like super happy. I mean, we can maybe place out more stuff to make them happy. And I'm just going to make a couple more holes and then we will be doing that. So, ah, either way, we'll see. Uh, I'm thinking, okay, we got hole five, so we can go six, seven, and then maybe eight, nine, ten, eleven, I don't know. Like, uh, usually golf courses have, like, uh, front nine, back nine, so you can go on the first nine, and then it's, like, a convenient way to just kind of get off the course, and then get on it to the back nine. And, you know, so you can... But I, I can't necessarily do that. Though. It's like after hole eight, they can go back in. It's, I don't know, they have to backtrack a little bit. But in this game, it doesn't matter, because you don't play half the, whole, the course, you play the holes that are there, so... Okay, I am picky as being very happy, so it's looking very good for our expansion uh, prospects. Which is very nice. Right, not a membership. Good stuff. This game is a bit slow paced. Like, there's one thing I miss in this game, and that's the speed up function. To go like double and quadruple speed would be super nice, because sometimes you're just just waiting for this to happen. 10 we need to get it to. Well, that should be easy enough. Yup, I got big plans, so we're gonna buy track 4, and then track 1 next time. And with track 4, alright. Yeah, this looks serviceable. Um, right, so I want a hole going this way. Kind of like par four, maybe. Then. Okay, I have a plan. I have a plan. A plan has formulated in my mind. And, uh, yeah, the game kind of lagged after us, the terrain, um, set itself to the appropriate heights. Now, what I'm thinking is, uh, since we're connected to the, uh, clubhouse here, I'm gonna reset this to rough. I'm just gonna build a pathway here to remind myself that we're gonna have hole six, go out here. And then seven, from further back, maybe, so it's like par four, par five, then a par three going back the other way again. 
And uh, I want a snack bar here. We have a snack bar here, but I also want one here so that uh, people don't, you know, not get snacks when they want them, basically. Um, we can probably just put that tea right there, actually. No one really plays into that. Just have it really close to the hole. Oh, no, actually, that's, that's, that's terrible. Let's not do that. Uh, can I rough it? Can I zoom in? No, I, I have a hard time seeing what the fuck is up here. Just something with the colors and graphics, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I just... Let's see, okay. Uh, there, there is the place I want that tea. And I will show you why, just give me a moment. We'll just raise this all up to 10 and... As you can see, like the cursor isn't really... You know, you see where the red dot is and you see where the cursor is. So I just need to play around with this a little bit, and it's kind of weird. It doesn't really... It's... yeah. Where you're aiming is not where you're aiming, so it's... Things get a bit messy. So to say, so, yeah. Either way, uh, let's go with this one here, and... Uh, screw it, we can just lace the terrain here. I want it all on 10 anyway, so it's all good. There we go, and what I wanted to do was uh, have this pathway go out here, uh -uh. then have a ball washer there, and some benches in the general area. Right, benches like here, one bench there, I guess that will do. And so I'm thinking, after we're done in this hole here, or like after we're done teeing off, we take this pathway down here. Something like this, and uh, yeah, let's see. It's gonna be uh, like downhill as fuck. You're gonna start high, so you can go long on this one. You can go really long on this one. Um, but how long? Because I don't want necessarily two par five holes after one another. Okay, so yeah, okay. These rocks, sir, we can incorporate them into the hole. Right? Play around a bit with, with what's already there. So, uh... Let's make it kind of a weird hole like this. And I will open up some rough between. Now let's just have fairway go between now. But this is going to be hard to land on for them. So you can go far on this one. Maybe, if you're somewhat accurate. It's going to... Hmm. How do I do it exactly? Maybe like this. This is the first... Uh, first draft of the hole, anyway. And we can get in some... Uh, some bunkers. This, this is, it's going to look a lot different when it's actually done, but for now, anyway. Just a lot of rocks as well. Lots of rocks in the area. Have the pathway go like that. And right, it, it needs a bit of work still, for sure. Not denying that. And I think for a change we're gonna have some pine trees maybe. No, let's just keep it to these uh, maple trees or whatever it is. Like that for now. Uh, we'll spend more money on it later. I just don't want to throw all the money on trees at the moment. And I want to make some uh, terrain adjustments. Alright, so this. I want this to be steep as hell. People shouldn't be walking off this. It's just going to be very freaking steep. And I think honestly we reset this to rough because otherwise it's going to look a little bit silly. So rough. Rocks. All that good stuff. We can remove the rocks later. Just kind of kind of making myself a little area here where the hole is. And uh, we need some of these landmarks in here as well. Can't really afford too many of them right now. But as I say, this is the first draft of the hole. There's going to be 
a steep as hell drop here. Really freaking steep. In fact, let's just everything just down a zero. Let's go. Right, now I'll change the train up a little bit more after this. Right, this isn't gonna, like, the game isn't gonna like this so. So we need to make some changes. I, just, I know it's not gonna like this so. For sure. And our players aren't gonna like this, uh, the slope right there either. But, uh, yeah. That is what it is, either way. Uh, I'm trying to set it up. You don't want a uh, slope with plus minus more than two uh, change in terrain, because if people have to walk up steeper uh, slopes than that, they're going to be very unhappy. Jacqueline applies to membership and writes, uh, plans on inviting friend along. That sounds beautiful to me. Go for it. Right, something like this. Right, just initially. Maybe on this side we have more of a, like, uh, a gradient to it, so to say. And I kind of want just like the green to be a little bit elevated. Ah, oh, come on, it's, it, I really don't like how this is not where I have the mouse cursor. Because it's so... It's so inconsistent to work with, you know? It's like having a rifle to shoot with this, like, set to... I don't know, you have a red dot on it, say, and then uh, you're supposed to hit something that's 200 meters away, but it's set to hit at like 3,000 kilometers away instead. And, uh, yeah. Like, it's just not that good. Oh, yeah, we can have, like, uh, two routes, so. One more elevated one. And one not so elevated. That's the original idea, at least. Changes might happen, for sure. Not sure how long we've been recording for now, so maybe I should kind of call this episode and uh, continue this next time. Trying to make this terrain look uh, naturally flowing a bit, though, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Only so much you can do to make that happen in this game. I'm not trying to bash on the game or anything, it's just, uh, there's some things that are like, how did you miss that when you, you know, how did you not play test it and just see that, oh, we even need to make just a slight change to that, or, like you didn't do that, that wasn't, that wasn't so important, or, or what. Alright, so we got this, you can hit straight here down on the sill or you can play fancy, like, most people are probably going to try to go long, accurate, and straight, but they can also try to be imaginative and go around here if they got better skills and something. We'll see how people will play this. Like, from here. Might as well not have this section, actually. Uh, hmm. <sighs> yeah. No, really, just, I might as well not have that section. Might as well not. Um, yeah, so when you're on this thing, uh, where is it here? You can see like what kind of shots are people gonna be taking, like yellow for length and accuracy, this and blah blah blah. Uh, it kind of freezes the screen a bit, but this is how people will mostly land. Um, yeah, I want to give them a good landing zone here so they can then go there if they don't have the best skills in the whole wide world. But if they're accurate and can go long, then they can go, you know, here. I think, whoops, uh, I think I'm going to just remove this as well. I just have this area, area here a little bit narrowed in. And uh, I'm going to reset the rough, the rocks that I can because I don't want too many rocks there. Something like this, maybe. Ah, screw it. 
the rocky portions. And then, haven't used brush anywhere. So maybe this is the time to do it. Gonna have a pathway running out there, so. Right, okay, there we go, and we should also play some landmarks for sure. Uh, rock faces would absolutely make sense there, I feel. Particularly if we could hide this graphical glitch to some degree. Beautiful. Okay, and like just... What? Reset to T? Why the fuck did I ever place a T there? What the hell? Dude, okay, that's a glitch. That's a glitch. Yo, what? What's going on? What? Can I? Now I can't reset it. Dude, that, that square glitched out. I don't know. Talk about playtesting the game, you know, the, there you go. Could have playtested that thing out of the game as well. Just mm. saying. Mm. Either way. Let's modify the terrain slightly here. Huh? I don't know, I don't know. That, that's a weird one. I haven't seen that before, so maybe they have playtested it and uh, didn't notice it. Guess I couldn't blame them for not noticing. Right, we're gonna have a little bit of a roll off here, just very minor. And something like this. Terrain looks fine, I guess, but maybe we can get in one more of these things. When we open this hole here, it's gonna be a. Um... I think I messed up, like. Oh, the game messed up, and now that T doesn't count as a T anymore for this hole. I don't know. Well, things happen sometimes. Instead of rocks right here, I think I just want like a tiny bunker for some variety. Not that anyone's really gonna go into that, but... There we go! Hole zero? The game is breaking down on me. Hole zero. What the fuck just happened? I can't select the hole! What is going on? Hole six. Hole six. What? 350 yard downhill par four is now open for play. Your course now upgrade to municipal to a uh, from a municipal to a daily fee course. This will double your tournament price money and, and other things. Actually, we can go into information and repeat last message. W tournament price monies if your course passes the more stringent SGA evaluation. In addition, you may now hire more experienced employees for a slightly higher salary, of course. Yeah, we might get into that at some point, but uh, let's just not dabble in it right now. I think these rock faces are going to keep away the dandelions from her for now. Yeah, I think they cover good enough in the positions we have them. And uh, let's see, I might go for Civil War statue here actually, just for some skill increases. I'm not sure if I have one already, could be, but the stupid ass frickin blimp is in the way. What a cheesy thing to put in your game, I mean it's like, the, the whole game is a little bit meme -y, I get it, but like, come on. You know? Come on. What? There has never been a pot bunker there. There's, there's never been a tea there. What is this? They said rough, rough. 
Just what what kind of lottery are we playing here? Are we, are we playing memory? What's underneath the rocks? No, it's just reset the rocks. Well, they were rocks, yeah, rough. I, I don't know what to say. I never experienced this before. I'm gonna put the boo there so we can get a little bit more sun about it, I guess. What the hell is going on? What the hell? Okay, well, but either way, um, so that's the hole. And around here I want another snack bar, but I need to figure out where I want to place the next hole first, though. I think we've also unlocked, uh, have we not unlocked another one? No. Uh, beyond nine holes. Okay. Upgrade abilities are not available. Okay. Oh, I need more holes. Whatever. I mean, skill rating is really good, so... Yeah, I mean, look, length there is just outstanding. Curse is good, imagination not so much, but... Whatever, at least we got variety going for us, so... So that's good. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have one hole... Go from here to maybe, maybe another part three, actually. Like a good part three. Yeah, I think I want to make a good part three. Corporate CEO JP Big Dome 3 is playing on the course today. Well, the thing is, I don't really care that much if he is, because uh, he only gives us, like, there's no other benefit and you get a little bit of extra money, which I don't really need. We're making decent money, we just need time to make it basically um, but yeah I, I'm, I'm gonna end it here and leave the game running for a while so that we actually have a little bit of money to continue our uh, construction endeavor sir and then uh, we'll come back to this revisit it and uh, see what that gets us so I hope you enjoyed the episode and if you did I would appreciate if you would leave a like on it maybe even subscribe if you haven't already want to see some more of my content in the future I feel like this is a semi-mandatory thing to say, I, I, and I also feel like kind of a whore for saying these things, but... Oh well, it's YouTube. People say these things, I guess, so... There you have it. You can catch me in the next one. So, until then, have a good one.